Okay, I know usually before these recordings I'll do a test one to make sure I remember, but uh, we're just gonna see if I do. <laughs> uh, if you're seeing this video, then I must have remembered how to do it. If not, then I probably did a second take after this. So, this video is gonna be showing how to RNG manipulate for a shiny starter in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Specifically those games and not the Sun and Moon versions because this cutscene for the Sun and Moon versions takes so much time. It is genuinely so long. It's not even worth trying to sh uh, trying, to, trying to get a shiny starter in that game. Uh, I guess you could, but I would not. I tried before. It was terrible. Uh, so I'm going to be doing Ultra Sun, and you will notice that mine says version 1.2. To be able to do this, you're going to want to make sure that your version of the game is to the most updated version. So, by default, if you just download a ROM off the internet, it's not going to be up to date. But, so, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go online or somewhere uh, and legally obtain uh, the update file. It should be a .cia, so you can, after you get it, you can go to here, install CIA. And then here's all my updates and you can just install it and then it'll just update your icon and then boom your game's updated I'm gonna load up ultra sun i've already progressed through enough to where right here at the cutscene or right here in front of it you're gonna want to save as close as you can to the grass like if i walk to the left at all it's going to start the encounter which is what we want so i'm going to move this to the side and now we're going to open up citra rng link in description uh, I hope you can set it up on your own so run that then we can minimize we can drag this to the side we are on ultra sun ultra moon and we are on gen 7 so connect then update if you get some issue when trying to connect probably didn't update your game so uh, looks like my initial seed is that that's not important yet because we don't even know our trainer shiny value yet so, first thing to do, we can disconnect from this for now. Uh, we are going to start this. I'm just going to speed up the game, speed through it. And he's going to talk a lot. And then we just got to pick one of them. It doesn't matter. We're not going to save here. It's just to get our value. So, if I, I believe that the way this works is your Pokemon is actually generated... Uh, after you close one of these text boxes I think it is yeah you can do all this but I th it's right here once you close this text box I think that's when it's generated because you see here nothing but as soon as I hit a on this text box and I hit update it'll it actually generates the Pokemon it doesn't show in my party yet but that's when it generates it so uh, now it's in my party I can update this and my trainer shiny value is 1624 so I'm going to go over to 3ds RNG tool and if you don't already have a profile set up go ahead and set one up I'll set one up right now uh, description for vid game version I am on ultra what was this ultra sun yeah ultra sun no shiny charm because uh, we just started and then our Trainer shiny value is 1624. 1624. Okay. You can save that and then make sure you go for to your new one. So for vid. Uh and this should be stationary RNG. Oh, okay. I'm blind. It literally says starters. I don't know how I messed that up. Okay, we're here. Uh I like shiny rallet. Let's go for shiny rallet. So starters, rallet. Uh <clears throat> So from here, I'm gonna I have some settings on from the last video I recorded. Let me clear those. Uh, we're going to tick shiny only, and we're gonna move this to the side again because we wanna you know we gotta restart our game. So I'm going to restart and connect, update. You'll notice your frames don't advance on this screen. It's stuck at 477. You go to the next screen goes to 478, you go to the next screen, and then it actually starts counting. There you go. So I'm gonna pause frame I'm gonna pause my game through frame advancing. We have our initial seed. We're gonna copy that. 
I'm going to go here. I'm going to put in my initial seed. Shiny only. Calculate. Okay. These might be feasible. Not the best HP stat, but it's just for the video, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go for 9166. Or if I could mash through dialogue fast enough, I'll go for 4653. So from here, go back to your game. You're going to want to uh, unpause it, create a safe state, walk into the grass, and then mash through the text as fast as you possibly can. So it's going to do this, and then I'm going to get to choose my starter. And I gotta stop stop mashing for a second. Uh, rail it. Yep. Do that. And then right here, pause your game. And I didn't have my frame counting on for that, but oh wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, so uh, I can no longer go for this one, but since we're already over the ten thousand mark, I guess I could go for this one five three three seven. So we'll just go for that. So one five three three seven. So, we're on this screen, we're going to unpause our game, create a save state, and we're just going to wait till I get to, what was it, 1533, uh, I, I don't want to miss it, what was it, 15337, okay. So I'm just going to speed up my game until I get there, uh, and I went too fast. <laughs> if you speed up your game, there's a high chance Citra RNG will disconnect. Uh, that's normal. I don't know why it does that. But once you notice that your RNG disconnected, make sure to pause your game because you don't want to accidentally advance more frames than you need to. So connect. I already forgot what I was, frame I was aiming for again. One, five, three, three, seven. Okay. So we're back. Speed up a little more. Okay. One. I'm close to one, five. Oh. One, five, two. Okay. 153, I'm going to pause the game and manually advance frames. And you will notice, uh, when you hit the button to frame advance, I press it once, nothing happens. I press it a second time, then it advances. But it advances by two frames. Depending on the area you are in the game, uh, the frames advance at different speeds. But since this is a video about starters, that doesn't really matter because, you know, it's the same area every time. You should only advance by two frames each time. So 153... Three, seven. I may not be able to hit it because, you know, I'm advancing by two frames and I'm not on the right one, but uh, one, five, three, three, come on, one, five, three, three, six, yeah, one, five, three, three, eight, I missed it, uh, is there anyone else nearby? Uh, I guess I could go for that, but that has a question mark, so that's, that's scary, uh, so in this scenario, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Uh, go for a new seed. So disconnect this. Uh, we're going to move this to the side and I'm simply just going to unpause my game. Emulation restart. And as soon as this starts loading we can get our initial seed. I believe this doesn't change. Like in some of the other games it changes once you go through the title screen but I believe it's the same the whole time. We can see. Oh it did change. Okay. So, new seed, calculate, uh, because it takes a while, so I could probably hit one of these two, okay. So, once again, we're just going to, did I pause my game over here? Okay, I did. We're going to try and get through this stuff as fast as possible, so that way we have more frames to work with. So it does this, luckily I can just keep spamming because rail is the first option, so Rail it, yep, and then I'm gonna wait here. And when that red arrow, because the text box is gonna show up, but we need to wait for the red arrow in the bottom right to show up too. So you chose Rail it, and come on, there's the button. Okay, create a safe state, pause the game, update, see where our frames are at. 10583. Okay, so I'm gonna go for. <clears throat> The closest is 11680, so I guess we're going for that, and we're going to hope it's one I can actually hit this time. So, uh, I already forgot what it was, bro. <laughs> I cannot remember. Uh, what was it, 11680? Yeah, okay. So, hopefully, this is a frame we can hit, 11680. 
Oh, okay. We're a little close. So I'm going to manually advance now. And you can see now, if you look at my frame advancing, I'm advancing by one frame in a second. Or one frame per frame advance, I guess, input. Uh, so, yeah, and now I'm back to going by two. It's a little odd. So, one, one, six, eight, zero. Oh, I gotta make sure. Okay, yeah, one, one, six, eight, zero. So, it's looking like I will hit it this time. One, one, six, seventy. Come on. Okay, one, one, six, eight, zero. So now we're on the right frame. I'm going to hold down the A button, and then I'm going to do. I'm going to toggle off frame advancing so it unpauses the game. So, boom. And it should be shiny. Yep, that's all there is to it. Uh, shiny Rowlet, shiny starters, and Ultra Sun and Moon. Uh, yeah, hope that helps whoever's trying to learn it. Uh, sorry if this is a little sloppy. Uh, yeah. There's a shiny rallet. Uh... <laughs>